Welcome Aries guys. I'm back y'all with another video. So yeah, let's get into it. This is a general. We're gonna do kind of like love read. Whatever pop pop pops out. That's what we're gonna talk about. So yeah, let's get into it. There for the Aries. Give me a message for Aries. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Aries. I see y'all. I see y'all. Okay. All right. Okay, so some of y'all. Um we got nostalgia. Okay, so some of y'all are like looking at pictures. Y'all are reviewing things, going over things. Y'all know we getting ready. We're in the shadow phase period of Mercury retrograde. We're already in Venus retrograde. So we are reassessing. We're looking over things. We're reevaluating. And I feel like a lot of y'all uh y'all focus is on your family okay it could be your family that you come from or the family that you made and that's just the end of the story but i feel like for a lot of you it's the family that you created the family that you made i feel like you are definitely a lot of y'all are in a period of where you are dealing with a twin flame you have a family with your twin flame and that's what it is like that's that's point blank period that's what it is right now that's where the focus is you got people looking up to you your children um the people who you're around family you got people looking up to you okay you got people looking up to you You got people looking up to you. Okay, I feel like your twin flame could have abandoned you, um, did the runner phase, went through a runner phase previously, but they ended up returning. They ended up returning to you, okay? Yeah, and I feel like you guys' connection has deepened since then. Um, y'all, y'all vibrating a little higher, okay? After a period of some solitude, though, after a period of being alone and having time to think and get a better understanding, I feel like you may have put a pause to certain things or you looked at and reevaluated um, what it is that you need to do to make sure that you're not settling in this connection with your twin flame. Um, so I feel like right now, currently, I feel like a lot of y'all, your focus now is family. The family that you created. I see you very much so focused on your uh, your coins, your material world, material girl, material dude. <laughs> y'all working on y'all material, you know, just your money. And I see you definitely went through a healing process. Some of y'all are still healing. I feel like uh, either your masculine or your feminine may have um, walked away from you. You went through a period of healing. I feel like a lot of y'all either already healed from it or you're going through that healing process. We're going to find out more. I feel like, I feel like you've been kind of like on the quiet side. You don't want to, you didn't want to discuss what you and your twin flame could have been going through. Yes. Okay. So we got a palm tree. Stability, security, 
um, flexibility, endurance. Like, yeah, I feel like you and your twin flame relationship has ascended. But it had to go through something for sure, for sure. Okay, you may have found out that your that your twin flame could have been having conversations with a third party. Um, and that could have broke your heart. You felt stabbed in the back by this person. And there could have been a separation or a breakup. There could have been a separation. So you and your twin flame, y'all separated from each other. I feel like during this separation, somebody was dating a third party. Somebody had a third party for sure because we got date and seduction. And I see love call and talking. So there could have been a lot of flirting going on, a lot of talking, a lot of hearsay about um, either you dating or your uh, partner dating someone else, a third party. I think that cycle closed because we got conclusion here. I feel like that cycle closed, but it's still kind of like hush hush. Okay, so tell me about conclusion here. Seduction, yeah. See, this third party, you, <laughs> this third party situation has closed. It has came to an end. Okay, it was it was a mask anyway. So, and then we got Grim Reaper. So somebody took them their mask off. And decided that, you know, the relationship could have just been one-sided. Maybe I was being a little narcissistic. Maybe I was just only thinking about myself being selfish. I want this truth to come out. I want to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, heal from this. Let's, I want to make better choices. So, I feel like a third party got cut off. Okay? A third party got cut off. But like I said, I feel like you were kind of like hush-hush about it. It wasn't something that you like expressed to everybody. You told everybody. Yeah, we got the golden mirror. I feel like, you know, it's not something that you wanted everybody to know. Because I feel like you still love this person. Maybe you were still kind of like going after them. Maybe there was a sense of codependency in this relationship. Um, I feel like the lesson that could have been learned, that you had to learn, was how to love yourself. Okay? Because we got kisses and self-indulgence. So you put that, instead of chasing after this person, I feel like you came to the realization that you need to chase you. Okay, and even though you were heartbroken, I feel like you learned a lesson out of this. Okay, you learned the lesson that was needed to be learned. And that's the twin flame journey. Like, it's about learning lessons. Okay, evolving, teaching you things about yourself as well. Yeah, you got people that's oh yes, a lot of a lot of eyes are on you. A lot of people are talking about you. But the thing about it is is they are really admiring something about you. Okay, they're they're actually if you if you come across something and you like, why is they steady watching me? Why are they always on my people you may know? First one the first one that you know the first first couple people that they be the ones that be done visited your profile. Or that's what I heard. But you kind of like, why Why are they keeping an eye on me? They're, they're admiring you. There's something about you. Something about how you handle your strength, how you handle situations. Um, it's gotten people talking. It's gotten people talking. Yes, look at this. Love and family. Okay? Like, that's where your energy is right now. Your energy is putting, pouring that loving energy into your family, the people that mean the most to you. I feel like a chapter has closed, has closed, 
um, with your other person, with your person dating someone else, or there was an interference of some sort. I feel like that chapter has closed. You and your twin flame now are focused on stability and how to bring your family closer together. Put your keep your family together. Do what needs to be done to where your family and your loved ones feel loved. Okay, and see that's what's being admired. Maybe you're posting pictures, maybe you're talking about it. People were talking about how well you and your twin flame look together, how your family, how you take care of your family. Those are the things that people are looking at and admiring about you. They may not know what you went through um, with your partner. They may not know. It's none of their business anyway, but they're... They don't know what you had to go through in order to get to where you are now, okay? And I'm definitely seeing that. That's real heavy. That's real big in this, in this energy right here. The focus right now is the family that I created, okay? The family that I created. I see a lot of loving energy, and that's so beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I, I definitely, I'm loving that, loving that vibe, that energy. Let's pull a few cards here from the tarot, and let's see what else we can do. We got a ten of swords jumped out first. So there's some type of of ending. And this ending is it's gone. Yeah, with the eight of cups here at the bottom as well. So yeah. A chapter definitely closed. There was some type of ending or some type of betrayal. There's an ending and a new beginning. There's an ending and a new beginning. Something that you may wasn't fully prepared for, but it happened. Okay? It happened. It happened. Could be involving a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, or this person could be like a business owner or something like that. Some Somebody that's um, very goal-oriented and very driven. This may have not been the first time that something like this has occurred. I'm also seeing as well, too, that there could have been... Some of y'all are married. This King of Pentacles. You're married to this King of Pentacles. Like, this person has a lot of money. This person um, is very, like I said, very goal-oriented. But I feel like for some of you, this isn't the first time that this you and this person has gone through this type of phase. There may have even been talks about divorce. Some of y'all have even separated from this person. There could be things involving the law here. So now it looks like you're coming up with some type of plan on how to move forward this time. And when you're moving forward this time, it's being successful. Yes, 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 yes. St stability. Um, I f this is key. This is key. How your the key focus is how to build some a successful home life, how to build a successful marriage, how to, like, I really see somebody really putting in their best energy into their home life, into their, whatever it is that you are building and planning how it, how you want to move forward. I'm getting tongue tied. Yeah. Look at this. At one point, you was done. 
At one point, you was done with this situation. Ten of swords and the ten of wands. At one point, you was done. It was stressful. And you even walked away. You even walked away, okay? Because you was working on something. You was building. You was putting all the work in. But where was the other person at? Okay? Like, where were they? I see somebody starting arguments all the time. Fighting all the time. Maybe you felt like you had to force this person to do things all the time. Like, I see you going I see you going above and beyond to try to make this situation work. It's like well anything that you would do, it just wasn't satisfying you or your partner. Like I feel like you're coming out of that energy. Okay. I see a lot of hope. I see a lot of um I see a shift. I'm gonna say that. I see a shift in energy. It's gonna be so surprising. <laughs> It's going to be so surprising. Oh, gosh. The length of effort that this person is putting in is going to be amazing. Okay. Yes, look at this. A new fresh start. We got the Fool and the Ten of Cups. This energy that this person is bringing you now and uh, how they're meeting you in the middle is going to be, you're loving it. You're loving it. Because this person over here, they got regrets. They got regrets. They're regretting. They're crying over spilled milk. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Somebody here could be their, be their own boss. But I'm getting, I'm getting grown man, grown woman type energy. Yes, look at this. Yeah. I see third party energy. I see that the third party energy is was there for sure. Somebody had a multitude of options. Okay. They had a multitude of options. So I see somebody walking away, leaving. Okay. I see you walking away. This was you that walked away and left. You was done with this situation. You was done with this situation. Yep, and see, now this person over here having regrets. <laughs> so they willing to, what I said, make the changes. The magician and the will. They will, they are ready to make changes. But they regret being so hasty. They regret getting so upset. They regret moving so fast. The empress. Mm -hmm. See, we got emperor, empress. For some of you, this is baby mama, baby daddy. This is a uh, husband, wife, this is a power couple, whatever the case may be. This person is regretting that they moved so fast. Now they wishing that they would have waited. Mm -hmm. And been more, been more compassion, show more compassion, show more of their, you know, of a better energy towards you. They're so nostalgic. I feel like you want things to go back to how they were, but this is this situation has gave you so much confidence. Okay, this situation, what you just went through, has given you a lot of confidence in yourself. And the thing about this is, you may not need you don't. For sometimes, sometimes people say they want things to go back to how it was. Sometimes they don't need to go back to how it was because it needs to evolve. Like relationships are supposed to evolve. It's supposed to evolve from certain things. Um, so it's supposed to be even better than it was before. I feel like this is what the plan is. This is what the plan is. I feel like you had time to think. You had time to think about the offer. I feel like this person is coming to you with some type of offer. I feel like you you had time to think about this offer. Mm 
You want things to be done the right way. And I see some of y'all, a divorce was headed, headed towards this situation. If you're married, I feel like you was done, you was done with the situation. But being that you guys are still um, connected, I feel like you're willing to give this relationship, you know, give it some new energy. I feel like you worry about it. Um, you worry about it. You think about it. Maybe some of y'all are overthinking it. But I feel like, look at this, page of pentacles, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles. I feel like some of y'all, y'all are willing to give this person a shot. And I feel like they're bringing it. It's going to surprise you. Like, they even going to surprise you how they, how, they, how hard they coming. Like, it's going to be surprising. <laughs> All right, so that's the message that I got for you guys. I hope this message was helpful. If so, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well. Share with your family and your friends. Spread the message, guys. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.